Well, President Biden announced a four and a half billion dollar grant for the Hudson River Tunnel Project and to improve conditions at Newark Penn Station today. It's part of a 16 billion dollar project to improve train travel across the Northeast and give a big boost for mass transit in New York City and New Jersey. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live at Newark Penn Station with the very latest. Tony. Liz, you know, Washington, D.C. to Boston has long been considered, of course, the financial cor uh, corridor, and moving hundreds of thousands of people throughout that region is very crucial, and that's what all of that money will be spent on. Now, this morning, uh, Senator Cory Booker praising the announcement of $4.3 billion to be spent on New Jersey's leg of the North Northeast mass transit system, and this afternoon, President Biden was in Bear, Delaware, at an Amtrak station congratulating workers on their daily efforts to keep the region movie, moving, saying upgrades will help make the job more manageable for them and commuting more seamless and reliable for customers. Uh, $16 million, a billion dollars to upgrade stations like Penn Station here in Newark, which will receive about $59 million to upgrade elevators, escalators, and platforms, uh, miles of track and bridge upgrades, and then finally, uh, more than $3 billion to get the Hudson River Tunnel up and open to increase the number of trains to to and from New York. All of this is part of the president's infrastructure and jobs package to get more Americans working while improving transportation on the Northeast Corridor. This region represents 20% of the gross domestic product of the entire United States of America. If this line were to shut down just one day, it would cost our economy, the American economy, $100 million a day. But this line has tunnels and bridges that are over 100 years old. The patience of the New Jersey taxpayer has finally been rewarded today. New Jersey taxpayers, this is a day for you and it's a day for all of us who've worked so hard to make this project possible to say a, a sense of thank you and gratitude. Yeah. It's a lot of work that will span beyond a decade. It's not expected to be completed until 2038.